We all remember those original gameplay trailers for Planet Side 2, right? Those ones from like way back in the day, like 2012, 2011 era. Remember how flamethrowers on Mac suits used to be a thing? An indiscriminate weapon of mass destruction that would just paste an area in damage while the user on the right side of it laughed all the way to the charred bank. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint any pyromaniacs out there, but well, there's still no flamethrowers in the game for infantry yet. But when it comes to, you know, getting the same message across, this might be your next best bet. G'day there once again viewers, your mate Kamikaze78 here, and today we are making a long overdue return to the Time to Gear Up series. So I'm guessing there's going to be a fair few of you who have come to the channel since we last released an episode for this series, which I think was around... January if my memory serves me correctly. So yeah, it's been a hot minute, I apologise for that, but for the uninitiated, here's the skinny. This is the series we run on the channel where you guys get to summon either your inner degenerate or genius and suggest a loadout for me to use in game. You do this by dropping a loadout in the comments section down below and the highest rated loadout by the lot of you will be selected for the next episode. Well, that is after I've gotten out of the therapy as a result of using the most recent piece of work you idiots make me run with. And to clarify here as well, this loadout can be as stupid as choosing a paintball field as a place for a nudie run, or so serious that I start sweating out enough liquid to solve a third world country's drought problems. The freedom is up to you and the fellow community who place the votes below. Today I'm fitting my fat ass back into some red and black to represent the Terran Republic with a heavy assault loadout named Being Really Really Terran. Now just quickly, there's a bit of a backstory behind why this episode is so late, and some of the more observant of you might also notice that this is not the top rated loadout from the last episode's comment section as well. The long and short of it is that through multiple game updates, the previously selected loadout became impossible to use as intended. So to kickstart the series off again, we have a loadout from the one and only true Flameslinger, who actually suggested this loadout as part of his perk as a true blue legend channel member, and is effectively the brains behind the loadout and therefore this video. Cheers to the ongoing support mate, I really appreciate it. Anyway, let's dive into the loadout and see what monstrosity I'm working with today. And look, I ain't gonna beat around the bush today. Yep, that's two T7 mini chain guns you guys are seeing in the loadout there. This loadout is just the living, breathing, McShooting equivalent to removing the paintbrush as the middleman in a home reno project and just throwing the bucket of paint at the wall instead. It sure as shit ain't gonna be accurate and you'll make a bit of a mess in the process, but hey, at least it gets the job done quickly, and that is very much how it felt to play this build in the game. As I just found myself running head on into enemies, incoherently screeching and filling them up with lead as fast as possible. And having not one, but two chain guns made it really difficult to um, stop doing that for any real period of time. One chain gun was out of ammo. Huh. No worries, allow me to whip out my good friend Chain Gun to Electric Boogaloo and just blank out to my happy place as the rain of lead keeps spraying down range. It was kind of poetic to be completely honest, and considering we had the ballistic rapid refire toggle attachment on both weapons, which I am still convinced to this day was always an inside joke considering that the acronym for that attachment is literally BERT, that good old Chain Gun spool up time that we all know and hate just sort of stops being a bit of a problem, well at least a less obvious problem. Now surely with two chain guns plus the brute attachments on each of them, there's surely no way we can get even more quote unquote Terran here, right? <laughs> Step aside amateur, this must be your first time here. Papa Terran is here with the Firestorm implant here as well. For those out of the loop here, this is an implant that offers an 8% boost to your rate of fire for 3 seconds after you kill an opponent with a weapon at the cost of negatively impacting both your recoil and cone of fire handling. Truth be told, this is an implant I find myself very rarely running considering, well, the downsides. But on the chain guns and their sort of fuck everything in that general direction approach to everything in life, it works a little too well because the negative impacts just don't really matter here. With the bump in rate of fire jumping up to a whopping 918 rounds per minute on said chain guns, it's nasty. For transparency's sake, the other implant we are running today is Athlete. Less critical to the build, but worth noting. Now obviously, we're going to have to be able to take the same degree of punishment that we're dishing out, which brings us to our ability slot. Now, old mate Flame here left this up to personal choice, and I opted for the Adrenaline Shield for the majority of this time, because well, 
kills equals shield equals stonks. It's a simple equation. But out of pure curiosity, I also decided to run the resist shield for a little bit and found it to be pretty workable as well with the loadout. So you'll see an eclectic mix of both shields in action today throughout this video. On the contrary, where I did have clear instructions from Flame, well, at least what should have been clear instructions was in regards to my launcher. Yep, I was told pretty explicitly from Flame that the good old T2 Striker would be my launcher of choice for this build. And if you were to say, ask today Cammy whether or not he was sure past Cammy double checked the loadout description and was sure he changed the launcher slot accordingly, today Cammy would have sworn that it happened. But unfortunately, today Cammy is amnesic as fuck and past Cammy is an absolute moron. So yeah, much like our ability slot, there's going to be a mix of things on display here today, but not intentionally. You guys have my permission to be particularly mean to me in the next episode for compensation. Anyways, wrapping up the rest of the loadout, we have some things like, you know, med kits, a frag grenade, and oh god damn it, yep, that's the ammunition belt again. Because you can never have enough ammunition, even if you need to resort to stuffing it into every single bodily orifice you have available to you. So uh, yeah, boys, that's the build for the day. And look, I think the name does it justice. This thing is about as Terran Republic as it gets. But how much is it gonna cost you to get to this point? Well, um, yeah, look, for transparency's sake, everyone, I had to spend real money to unlock the bundle to make this loadout possible with the Anniversary Edition chain gun. I also spent some money on implant loot box and felt really friggin' slimy afterwards to get the necessary ISO to unlock and upgrade Firestorm. Certs-wise, this is also going to set you back anywhere between 3250 and 6800 certs. So, in total, the GDP of a small country plus your self-respect. Not bad in this economy, to be completely honest. But yeah, beyond being a big old gaping hole in my wallet, this loadout also breaks some other records on the battlefield as well, without question. Stuff like how many rounds I fired during the recording session, how much noise, like physical noise, does this loadout make, how many people did I hit and didn't kill per session just because, you know, I grazed them with a chain gun shot. The works, really. And Flame had this to say in relation to the build here as well. Ever wonder about Ducker and how to find more of it? Look no further, recruit. Today's training will encompass the maximum amount of Ducker possible to throw out any possibility of scum in both Rebel and Zealot Verities being able to resist the combined might of the Terran Republics. So get your boots strapped on because we're learning about being really, really Terran. Essentially, Ducker is king here and it shows. This loadout is, honest to God, just the ultimate representation of the TR Giga Chad. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like for the lads in red and black. I mean, when your entire personality is built on morphing yourself into a walking A10 Warthog and barrel stuffing some poor degenerate wearing spandex with your chain gun, I mean, come on. Are you really gonna be able to beat that? The answer is no. In all honesty, it's been a minute since I've unironically used the chain gun, let alone fucking two of them at the same time. And there's something a tad bit special about this little number here. Is using this weapon going to make you practice techniques that will say, make you better at the game? Or, you know, make you better at the game? More so with any other more conventional infantry weapon out there? Absolutely not. Tactics, we throw those out the window here. Slicing the pie to breach into doorways, that's yesterday's thing. Here, it's all about the confidence. And man, is the chain gun just fun for waltzing on into a point room like a big dick in a gym locker room and just startling everyone with the sheer confidence you're exuding. The enemies just sort of go, whoa, shit, okay, he's here now. And by then, they've already eaten a healthy amount of brute from the chain gun. The chain gun just brings about a play style that lets you rely on raw power and still nets you the win in those situations. Of course, taking off a bit more than you can chew will put you in dodgy situations even with a gun like this, but I found myself legitimately jumping around corners towards my enemies while pre-firing the chain gun, and you can still bet your ass it worked a lot of the time. It was scary, even if I was the one dishing it out. The striker, that is when I remembered to equip the blaster thing, is always a fun return to form as well. Just being able to, you know, just sort of look up and make those pesky air-to-ground ESFs disappear at will. It's just therapeutic, you know? Almost puts me into a state of total bliss just smacking a pesky PPA scythe or air hammer reaver that flew a little too close to the sun away. It's just too good. It conversely did leave me incredibly weak to max suits, leaving me with one option and one option only, really. 
trying to just outbert them with the chain gun. It kind of just resulted in some hilarious moments where I just sort of charged down a max suit, screaming out a war cry I didn't even know I had in me, laying bullets into him. Did it work for me? Most of the time, nah, not at all. But the few times it did work, it almost felt more satisfying than doing it with, say, a Decimator or C4 would have felt. And I feel like that's a good culmination point for this entire loadout. Is it the most effective one out there? No, God no. I, I feel like I would have been a lot more successful with, say, a Butcher or, I don't know, an MSWR or something that just sort of, you know, shot in a straight line and had a sight to aim down. But there's no denying that, you know, while this wasn't the most conventional way to get things done, boy was it fun. And just whipping out that second chain gun and catching people off guard when they thought I was done, yeah look, I can only imagine the surprise Pikachu look under their helmets. And folks, with all of that said, start commenting down below. Let me know what loadout you want to see used in the next episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, then guys, you know what to do. Back in the like button. Let me know how excited you are to see this series return. It's been a long overdue return, and I do apologize for how long it's been. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more of this kind of content. It'd be great to have you guys here. As you guys can probably tell from my voice, yep, I've still got COVID and I'm still recovering, so I hope you're able to get through a very nasally cami commentary today. But it is what it is. Once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Peace out, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Take care, guys. Have a good one.